Hey there folks, back at you with another video. Today, working on my good old truck right here. 79 Chevy K20 with the Cummins swap. And today we're gonna address the smokestack. All right, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot, don't cost nothing. Let's get past the intro, let's get into this. All right, well, I'm gonna do something with that smokestack. Um, if I make me a list of the advantages and disadvantages of a smokestack, the side of disadvantages is definitely too long. And uh, yeah, makes me wonder my life, uh, if I gotta re uh, revisit my uh, life decisions on <laughs> some of this. But I got me an idea, it's, uh, it's a little different. So I looked at some ideas for smokestacks and exhaust and stuff like that. And uh, I don't really like any of it. So, but I'm gonna put something together here. And I think it's gonna, it, it's gonna be a little different as what you would expect or what you would normally see about, you know, smokestack or exhaust or any of those things. So um, bear with me on that. But I think it's gonna turn out really, really nice. And on top of that, uh, here we go. Um, I'm piling all kinds of crap already in my bed. So, I went on Facebook Marketplace, picked me up a toolbox. It's an old Craftsman. <coughs> Keys come with it. Thing is fairly clean. Paid 80 bucks for it, so I think that's a pretty good deal. So we're gonna put the toolbox in, because I don't wanna have a stack, then the toolbox, because I think that will look like shit. And on top of that, um, the way the exhaust came out and the rails for the bed, I mean, that's where I had to cut uh, the hole for the exhaust, so I mean, it's kinda, kinda gapping pretty good, so. But, uh, stick with me here guys, uh, we're gonna do some cutting, we're gonna do some fabricating and some welding, and uh, man, I got this thing in my head, and, and if I can get this to work out, it's gonna look pretty darn good, in my opinion, so. All right, I'm gonna start removing this one here, and then uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, I got my adapter piece out. So this was sitting in here and I had the stack bolted to that so um, I'm going to straighten this out a little bit. I had to fight with a uh, couple of broken off self tappers. They were still stuck in the plate and in the bed but the head was cut off so I had to fight with that a little bit to get that out but um, I've got that done now. And if you're ever worried about cutting a hole in your bed, uh, make sure you save the piece that you cut out. They can always weld that back in and make it all, you know, make it uh, somewhat original. So, but yeah. So, this is the place, plate I got. So, I'm gonna take that to the bench and we're gonna start manufacturing some stuff. All right, got our materials right here. We got two short 90s. I had one big 90 here, so I wasn't sure um, how was a how I was gonna do it in the bed. Got this thing all cleaned off, so there's no more soot on there. And then um, here's the other piece. This clamp goes with it. Um, 18 inch, five to four to five inch tip. So I already cut this one here, so I did some measuring. And then uh, this showed about an inch and a half to here with that with that plate involved. So we'll be pushing almost, you know, like, I don't know, inch and three quarter, two inch somewhere in there. And already set the toolbox in place, so I had an idea 
how to measure or what we had for room to play and uh, we're right at uh, nine inch so so we got nine inch of room for this toolbox and yes it's going to sit right there and no we are not going to drill a hole through this toolbox so stick around you'll see how it turns out but anyway so this sits flush in the bed basically and uh, I got this one cut with the bandsaw so I'm gonna throw this off to the side on the end of the day it's a union uh, you can always use those now we need to set the welder up and weld this one in place and um, and then we can go from there so yeah here we go all right i'll put some tech welds on there i just i crumbered the shit out of this thing to make sure it's all fine so got a little bit of gap but ain't too bad <clears throat> so let's take this off so in bent make sure um this is how i like it you know this way and uh in that way but yeah so we'll test fit it real quick make sure it's fine the way i want it and then uh we'll uh we'll start building the rest and then we can start measuring from there so all right all right <clears throat> so we're test fit it i marked where toolbox is gonna be Now we're using some of the one of the oldest tricks right here. It's uh you know people laugh at me when I use this old stuff, but you know what? They build a lot of they build a lot of stuff back in the day with plumb bobs like this. But coolest thing is it tells me exactly where what it's gonna be. So I set it right there with uh with my mark. Got this magnet to hold the rope down and come straight down. So now I know the edge of the bed is right there. And then the end of the box will be right here. And now I can start measuring from there. So that gives me a pretty good idea of uh, what's what. So this thing here sits pretty darn good if you ask me. Sits pretty flush. So I need to measure that corner out. I want to know where the center of my uh, pipe is going to be and then we'll go from there. And uh, if you got a little bit of imagination, you already got an idea of what's happening here. So, all right, let me get this figured out and mark the center out of where I want what and then we can go from there. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I got the piece all welded up. I had this all measured out. So, got to weld it up, got to weld it up solid every which way, I had to tech weld it in place first, so, I don't know, this is going to look a little crazy, but, there you go, she's back in place. Well, it lines up pretty good the way it is right there. Well, dang it, I forgot to grab my tape measure on the other elbow. Got this in place I remember that's where I want the center to be just about right there All right. so right there so now I got to measure Looks like six, six and a half inches 
right there. And then the next thing I want to check out. See how that's going to look like. Woo! All right. Well, and since this is all smooth on the inside, I can put the pipe in here a little longer. So, if we set this on top right here. We know this box is going to be a, about six inches off the bed. We got three here, so we're going to need another. So, eh, because you got this sticking up as well, right? Uh, that's two. So, another two on top of that that makes it four. So, I'll probably put another four inch piece right here on top. And then, uh, yeah, so six and a half and four. So I'm gonna get those pieces cut. I'm gonna tack them well, tack weld them in place, and I'll show you how it's set up uh, before I weld this part solid because I want to put the box down and all those things. So uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna cut six and a half and four, so I got an idea of how it's gonna look like, and then we'll place the box in, in place, and then you got an idea. So. All right, I'll be right back. All right. Got it all tech welded in place. Using these squares here to keep it somewhat squared up. Clamp to hold in place so it won't shift. So I got them all tech welded up. Um, this is the welder I use, by the way. And those are the settings. On the inside, it's got a chart. And that's what I go off of. So, so yeah. Uh, like I said, got a tech welded up, so we're gonna drop it in place real quick and uh, stick around. We're gonna see how uh, how it's coming together and how it looks like. So, give me one second. Oh yeah, got the toolbox set at the mark. As you can tell. And uh, she's a little too close. <clears throat> well, shit. But then again, this is why you tech weld that stuff in place. So you can actually uh, actually check and, you know, the mark is actually pretty good. So, I don't know. That there looks pretty good too, actually. I um, hmm. Oh, well, that changes things, don't it? Well, they just don't look right. No, I just need to make this one longer right here. So, cause if I set this back up square the way it was. I don't know. Well, now I'd like to know what I... Oh! So, I already see it. The gap between here and here, here remember, was two inches on the elbow. And uh, if you look at the mark down there, and if you can see it, that yellow mark right there at my finger. We're short. Yeah, we're definitely short. So um, I need to pop that piece out 
and um, make a longer one. So, all right. But on the end of the day, you know, I have a pretty good idea now of how it looks like or how it is going to look like. It's going to be basically sitting about like that, roughly. So, I may go a little taller yet, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this, I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna re, uh, I cut, I'm gonna recut a couple of the pieces of the pipe and stuff like that, and go from there. Uh, so yeah, and then um, I'm gonna finish it up, weld it all up, bolt it all in place. And then you guys get to see how it looks like final product and I see right now oh yeah see that that plate is uh, the back side right there the front side is hitting the bed see that but the back side is not so um, there's one of the differences right there and this go around I actually want to use regular bolts instead of self tapping screws so yeah, I'm gonna finish this up and uh, get it all, you know, recut a couple pieces of steel uh, and, uh, and um, weld it all up solid. And when we're, when I got it all done uh, and, and done, you know, when I got it all done up and ready to go, I'll, uh, I'll bring the guys back so you got an idea and I'll give you one more quick overview. And then I'm gonna go for a ride to see how it looks like and how it does, so. I hope this is going to bring the noise down into the cab. That is basically the biggest idea about it. And um, I can still use my bed. So, because past the exhaust pipe over toward that way, I can still put uh, longer stuff in there. So, I think it looks pretty darn good. So, yeah, now you can really tell how much it's leaning, right? So, um, yeah. I'm gonna finish this up here, um, and then like I said, I'll bring you guys back when I'm completely done. So, all right. got her all done up I uh, had to add a little more to it but now you can see how she looks like I'm loving it I think it looks very very slick so let's get uh, let's go to it here so all right, so I got these bolted down in there, as you can tell. So that's uh, bolted to the bed now. I made a support leg right here. That's bolted to the bed right there. So, and then this piece I had to replace. Uh, so instead of six and a half inches, I cut it off at eight and a half inches. And uh, that did the trick. Then I mounted the toolbox <clears throat> and uh, when I bought the box these came with it. These are Craftsman grip right. That way you don't have to drill in your bed. But I broke these. As you can tell. And I didn't really tighten them that much but they it didn't take much to break. So what I had to do if you ever deal with something like that you see right there I put a uh, nut and two washers in there to create a spacer because I was tightening it up so much it was putting it in a bend that plastic piece right there that goes from the toolbox down and uh, that's why they broke they just bent too much 
you know, at the end of the day, it is just plastic. So, but with that spacer in there, it kept, you know, now keeps it all nice and straight, as you can tell. So, now you can tighten it up without breaking it. So, I do like it. <clears throat> I put an extra plate in there just to, you know, it's sturdy. I mean, I'm. So, I ain't really moving that box at all. So, yeah, I like it. Came out really nice. I think it's pretty slick. So, yeah. Let me know if you want to go for a ride or not. Please leave that in the comment box. Uh, and we'll make a short for it with this uh, new exhaust pipe on it going down the road. So, yeah, like I said, leave that in the comment box. If you like to see that, then uh, we'll make a short off of it. And then, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. Don't cost nothing. And uh, we'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.